Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to go over how to trade on the one minute time frame. But just before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, and give me a follow on Instagram to see what I get up to on a day to day basis. So let's get straight into it. We'll start off on the one hour time frame. And all we want to do is we want to get a bias of where the higher time frame, which is the one hour in our case, is going. So as we can see, and I'll start off by plotting these dots, we can see the one hour time frame is trending to the downside like this. And at the moment, we have price stuck between this price range here, as we can see. We can also see, if I just mark it out very clearly, that we've achieved a premium in this price range, which means that we could expect price to continue to the downside. In terms of building our bias to the downside and why we think price could go to the downside, we can see we have this buildup of liquidity over here in the form of equal lows or trendline liquidity, whatever you like to call it. So now that we've got our one hour time frame bias we can shift down to the one minute time frame and see what price is doing now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop down to the 15 minute time frame and we're going to come to the charts at london session we've got this marked out we know that we have serious equal lows below where price is at the moment and we will be looking to short price into that area we can also see during the asian session on the 15 minute time frame we have an impulsive move which left behind multiple imbalances or a massive imbalance and so we could look for price to come and correct this and fill the imbalance so that also adds to our bearish fire let's drop down to the five minute and let's see what's going on so straight away we can see dropping down to the one minute time frame that what we have is um, price moving to the downside from these multiple breaks of structure over here so let me just mark those out very quickly so we've got this one here and we have this one over here now we can also see we have an imbalance around here now it is very important that when you get to the chart to just mark out what you see just so that when it comes to taking a trade or executing a trade you can see all the information you need to and it makes it easier for you to not miss out on anything now as we can see we have this beginner traders would have picked this area here as an order block now why wouldn't we take it because we have a buildup of liquidity over here never take a trade from an order block with liquidity above it and as we can see we have these relative equals there so what do we do instead instead we can look above okay so we know price is moving to the downside we have an imbalance that price needs to fill so we know price will come into this area and we also have an imbalance over here as well so let's mark that one out and what else do we have we have an order block now on the one minute this order block is not too clear but sometimes it helps to jump up a time frame and as we can see we have a nice clear order block over here so let's just mark this one out now so we know that we want to take a trade when price comes into this area here so we're going to remove this because it's not the order block we want to trade from as there is liquidity above it if we look here we don't have liquidity above this so there's no need for price to come violate this order block and continue to the upside as there's no liquidity to collect there so if i just mark this out like this very quickly show there's liquidity there and now we can get our trade ready so this is where you'd go on your meta trader and you'd set your pendings so this would be 1.9 add 0.5 for some breathing room and we're going to target a one to a one to five and let's see how price plays out so we get pushed to the downside and then price quite impulsively moves up and we're looking for this liquidity to be taken and at this point we expect price to tap in yep perfectly very nicely actually and it moves away and what happens from here so we're moving moving down now okay so at this point you could have trailed your stop so if you don't know what i mean by that have a look at my stop loss management system video as that would help you to see what you could have done but those that would have kept this trade open we would see price continue and then smash through your target because this was quite an early trade and price was in the middle of the asian session high and the asian session low and we generally know that either one of them or both of them get taken out during a trading session or during the london session or the new york session what we could do is we could actually extend target to one of these and as we can see price was giving us an idea that it wanted to move to the downside so we could have extended this to the asian low and at the moment it's at and that's a 10.87 r so let's see if this uh, comes through or not so price is building liquidity so at this point here we have liquidity being built and this gives me more of an idea or more confidence that price is going to come and take this liquidity and continue to the downside and we see it come through there we go nice that is how you would trade the one minute time frame well generally we're going to go up for higher time frame bias and then we'll drop down and make sure our bias is still to the downside and then we'll take our trade, execute it on the one minute time frame. So if you have any questions about this style of trading or using the one minute, then put your question in the comment section below. Bear in mind that when it comes to trading the one minute time frame, you will have a lot more trade opportunities and that will also result in a lot more losses and a lot more wins. So just bear that in mind when trading the one minute time frame. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.